Yo guys, it's your boy, and today we're going to do a little um, tour of my fish corner here. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about everything. Um, I have a 40 gallon, a 10 gallon, and a 20 gallon so far. And um, as you can see on the channel for a while now, I've been... Uh, in the process of rescaping everything. I used to have rocks in the uh, 10 gallon here and the 20 gallon here, but I changed everything out for sand because sand works so much better uh, for growing plants. And uh, this is my 40 gallon. It's a community tank filled of all sorts of different little critters. A uh, couple platies, some rosy red minnows, some white cloud minnows, um, Mango the Molly, the channel favorite, and uh, a guppy that's pretty old now. You can see her. There's actually two guppies in here. There's another one, uh, a feeder guppy somewhere. Uh, I've always ran all of my tanks with sponge filters. I've just found it makes everything easier, and especially if you're growing plants, like hang on back filters plants will just get stuck in the filter and stuff and it's a pain so every tank I run I run with sponge filters and uh, it seems like the fish like it more too they like to go through the bubbles and whatnot and I think it creates more of a a ripple effect at the top more you don't want to have as like you want to have the least amount of stagnant water as possible or and have you know a high flow so we got that, uh, the 40 gallon. And I just have a couple of other plants in here. I have uh, a crypt in the back that I used to have potted, uh, some anacaris, anacaris, uh, whatever dwarf hair grass I have remaining from my old tank, and then just a boatload of water wisteria. Water wisteria works. I, I, the reason why I put it in all my tanks is it, it just works so well for growing fast and filling out tanks. So. That's that. Um, down here we got uh, a guppy tank. Uh, I'm floating some uh, above ground grown water wisteria. And it's pretty barren right now, but I plan to just make this all water wisteria. I'm actually in the process of selling these two plants. Um, just a couple of guppies in here, uh, different, different kinds. Uh, there's four uh, females and two males. Uh, they're probably all hiding in the back here, so it's kind of hard to see them. Oh, there's one. There's two. But, uh, just, just a guppy variety tank. See, if, see what strains I can make. Um, and then over here is my rescaped 20 gallon, which used to be my old community tank. And, uh, we put some bacopa in here on this side, and then the whole rest of it's just water wisteria and roughly like two inches of sand and then there's pearl my rescued beta fish she she seems to like it in here uh she had a hard time adjusting the first day because of all the small little fish i got a uh, a school of uh mosquito fish in here which are actually not very aggressive whatsoever they're actually like super docile i read a lot online about them and how uh, aggressive they are but this species is very 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 docile and you can keep them with almost anything um, and then I also have uh, a female molly named tangerine who uh, was supposed to go in the 40 gallon but mango would not leave her alone and she was always stressed out so she seems fine in here with pearl pearl kind of is a little scaredy cat she uh she kind of gets scared of the molly, but for the most part, she does great. She's such a pretty, pretty fish. I've actually had one other beta before, but years and years ago, and it lived for such a long time. So I'm hoping I can get her to, in this environment to live for a while. Also in each tank, I don't know if you can see, I have um, 
bladder snails and they they help a lot to um just like clean up uh uneaten food and uh decaying plant matter and stuff like that not 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 so much algae they won't really eat a lot of algae i mean they eat some but it's it's not gonna do much for you they're more or less just for uh eating like decaying food and stuff like that uh over here actually is where i also keep a lot of my um tools and whatnot uh for the fish tanks i have a, a snail roller which is pretty cool you uh put it scrape it onto the side of the glass and you can pick up snails super easy it doesn't even matter the size um we got some scissors got some uh tongs tweezers and then uh, a tiny shovel that i help use to like flatten things and then for food we got uh some blood worms and then a bunch of tropical flakes and what have you and then um just all sorts of other uh, liquid stuff like fertilizer and parasite remedy and stuff like that. Um, I actually plan on making a video on how to make water properly because a lot of people seem to not necessarily know how to do that. But in order to keep your tanks like super clean, you want to have uh, the right way of making water. So I'll show you more about that in another video. But um, yeah, I just figured I should make a quick vid on um, my tanks and show you about it because I haven't really talked to you guys yet. But I wanted to also say thank you for following me and um, watching me through this journey. So stay tuned for the next video. There will be more to come. I plan on doing a lot to this one. So stay tuned for that and keep it fishy, everyone.